Hello guys, you're all welcome to a brand new edition of Hot and Juicy with a brand new host, the Queen Titi Kane. Stay right there, I'm gonna be right back. Jollof, who got the best Jollof? Jollof, who got the best Jollof? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This big question has been all over social media ever since Nigeria won first position at the Jollof Festival in Auckland. Both Cameroonians and Nigerians have been battling online as seen who has the best jollof in Africa. It will be easy. So they were all female chef from Ken's Kitchen personally invite Nigerian celebrity Flavor Nabania to come and have a taste of Cameroon jollof rice. Hey everyone, uh, this is King's Kitchen and Mr. Flavor, Mr. Navania, we all know him, the King Musician of Africa, and uh, I'm privileged to cook for him, so you can see his plate right here, this was his third round, Mr. Navania, <laughs> yeah. what do you have to say about my jollof rice and chicken from King's Kitchen? Oh wow, so delicious, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, this is my third round. Seriously? Yes, and uh, I can tell you, for a fact, okay, this is the best of the Thank best. Thank you. Well, can I say um, Cameroon jollof rice is better than Nigerian jollof? Yeah. Now that Nigerian superstar cites Cameroon on this topic, can we now raise? Is there any Nigerian in the house? Yeah, you, Cora, come. Tell us, what gives that nice, sweet Pepsi taste to your jollof when all hopes are missing? We have this chocolate pepper. Point of correction, that's dry pepper. By the way, where do you get it from? From Cameroon, known for its flavor. Who gave you our pepper? My mom gave it to me. And Mothers are always right. See why, I can't tell you someone be credit for you make good progress. We know plenty better. We get mommy pee for all things. We know here. So when Cameroon they talk palava jerov rice, Nigeria fine place, she don't quiet. She don't quiet. We know make we more profit. We know make all the top palava cook, and I even try. I don't talk palava chops so with you. A Cameroonian female rapper, Askia. Okay, Mamu, oh yeah. So, as I was saying, when I don't talk palava chops so with you, a Cameroonian female rapper, Mami Bakala, say you want to open a restaurant for you in Nairobi, and the name of the restaurant will be Mami B's Kitchen. I guess the B is for Bakala. Anyways, she said the only meal on her. Menu will be Aero and she will be doing the cooking herself. For there ain't anyone in the world that could cook that meal better than her, not even your mother. Her post was worth encouraging for others, but not all, as some of her fans took her exit phrase very personal, clashing her on her comment section, saying her cooking can never be compared to that of their mothers. But when I know Mami Bakala, no, queen of violence, <laughs> in a pamper mami feelings. Anyway, she didn't stop there. She later on clashed back at her fans in another post, saying, Someone who doesn't know your mother, who has never met your mother, will tell you she can cook better than your mother and you're angry, as old as you are. <laughs> well, I'll be like Richard for Queen Markets. Mama, hand over your pocket. Hello. Perfect. Now I put them. It is worth noting that Eru and Kati Kati has known a serious comparison this week online. Does this post mean that Mami Bakala is taking stands behind Eru? A chose à vérifier, question de temps. It's been grace to grace in the career of her 237 female hit maker Blanche Bailey ever since she released her singles. Dodo featuring Syria Benin hit maker Faniko and mine featuring Nigerian celebrity Joe Boy. Dodo has got over 3.1 million views on YouTube, while mine has got over 2.8 million views on YouTube. Let's watch. <laughs> purchase of a Range Rover last month, the queen of the mic travels abroad for a show. Here is a viral video of Blanche Bailey showing off her street sights by removing all the money from the wallet of one of her fans during a show. Let's watch. <laughs> Uh, 
Cameroonian crossdresser Shakiru reveals the hidden sexuality of popular Cameroonian celebrities like Abby Rogers, Tizi Panchak, Salatio, Mr. Leo, Loco, Majaki, Cabrina Jeep, and some more. Let's come along like seeing a results for GCE. <laughs> but the big question now is, we don't know how true this list is because the above mentioned artists haven't replied in public or fight against him for defamation. We don't know how accurate this could be. Rumors might be this is just a scene put in place to distract Cameroonians from not questioning themselves about the visit of the French President Emmanuel Macron. Anyways, this is a short video of Cabrin Anji making us understand that some artists and him have fight already against Shakiru. Je voulais que vous venez comprendre que c'est les bêtises. Qu'il était moi j'ai pour dans rédiger ma plainte. Chacun a rédigé sa part de plainte. Qu'est-ce qui est arrivé ici au Cameroun doit comprendre. Fans have really been worried online about this whole issue because their celebrities in question aren't giving them any feedback or explaining themselves, telling us if it is true or not. Someone like Tizi Panchak replied a comment on one of his posts. Tizi Panchak too gave a straight reply to one of his fans on his comment section asking the question, who be gay? Anyways, I show the person like Happy Day Fulan. When he see the post online, he surely go see Man Bella, they start singing that their song. Popular skid maker Karen Anji proved to all Cameroonians once again that he is very talented and what puts forth on his table is his art, not the gay stuff that Shakiro is hooking on him. He made Cameroonians feel like he is guilty of charges levied on him by Shakiro and made a video apologizing, crying out loud to all Cameroonians that he is going to confess his sins the next day at 9 p.m. so that uh, Cameroonians can forgive him and he is going to carry himself to the authorities for punishment or suit. The next day, Cabrera Najib made another post of him being sick and hospitalized, but he promised to Cameroonians he's still going to keep to his promise to make the post. Next day, now, Cabrera Najib is saying make posts, they take Cameroonians in our way, they are very stupid, they are very this, that. Say they really want yen as a waiting. Say he don't prove for them. Say he really be talented and wait till they put up for a table now. Comedy. Not all this gay stuff and homosexuality. He encourages youths by working hard, believing in their talent, and not giving out their bodies for any ritual or malpractice to make it. Once again, let's watch the visuals. C'est de faire croire la jeunesse camerounaise que pour réussir, il faut toujours être dans les, les, les choses compliquées. Pour moi, je dis, toi, mes enfants, travailler, respecter les gens, ça n'existe pas. Il s'agit de ça. Ever since Cabrera Nanji made this live session, we had over 20,000 viewers for the first time ever. Shakiro has been missing in action as he claims to have taken in consideration the advice of Mani Bella and that of his lawyer, Maître Kou. In the comment section, guys, tell me what you think about Shakiro's latest outing. On the international news, guys, Black Panther's trailer is out, featuring Nigerian celebrity Thames and one of Bob Marley's best songs, No Woman No Cry, as some of their soundtracks. After the death of Chadwick Boseman, popularly known in the movie as King Chala, lovers of this movie has been wondering if there will be a continuation. Here is the trailer. We should equally note that Nigerian UFC champion Kamaru Usman was casted for a role in the movie Black Panther. This is a win for Nigeria and equally for the whole Africa. Mommy Ivy, an elderly Ghanaian rapper, sent out a rap battle to all African mommies and gets a reply from Mommy Dollars in Nigeria. Let's watch. Mama Ghana, they make noise. Yeah. 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 
Ah, Emma, but me don't put me. She wants to glory to follow us to the You even go borrow clothes to do video. Allow me to borrow us to the fire. Now, Jana, we get the rap. Come on, drug it. They want to go manage our wallet. Maybe they want to be the fool. You're gonna do well. You can lose our wallet. That's only this small. Man, that was a dog reply from Mommy Dollars. Please, let's encourage our Cameroonian mothers to join this challenge. Thank you all for staying glued to the show. Top 10 countdown coming up after this break. On our top 10 countdown for this week, we have this amazing piece from Fly Habit titled Main Guy. Position, we have this amazing track from Abby Rogers titled Boto. <laughs> the eighth position, we have this cultural and beautiful tracks from Skizzy Ayin Kia titled Guasa. <laughs> Gossi keeps the seventh position warm with the amazing street anthem titled Quand j'aurai l'argent. Quand j'aurai l'argent, je fais ce que je veux. Je prends l'avion pour les États-Unis pour charger mon téléphone. In the seventh position, we have this beautiful collaboration from Mike Musta and Mine titled Wish. I wish I be get some my wish. I wish I be get some my boy. At the fifth position, we have this sweet melody from Kingsley T featuring Stanley Eno Taito Gate. At, At the fourth position comes another cultural hit from Chris M titled A Shaken Sa Chance. Magasco latest hit titled Future warms the third position of our countdown this week. Second position, we have this incredible track from our Palapala woman, Mani Bella, titled Sapas Usakas. Now the first position of our countdown this week, we have this amazing track from the King Kong Stanley Eno titled Para Pari Paro. Watch and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Could this be that?